What if I told you that some of the most fascinating rocks on Earth were once molten lava, straight from the core of our planet? Yep, you heard that right. Today, we're going to explore igneous rocks, the rocks that were born from fiery volcanic activity. By the end of this video, you'll be able to spot an igneous rock and know exactly how it came to be, whether it cooled deep underground or after an epic volcanic eruption. So let's start with the basics. What exactly is an igneous rock? Well, first of all, the word igneous comes from the Latin word for fire. And it's a perfect fit because these rocks form from molten material. Igneous rocks are created when magma, that's the molten rock inside the earth, or lava, magma that's reached the surface, cools and solidifies. And there are two main types of igneous rocks, depending on where they form. You have intrusive, or plutonic, rocks that cool slowly beneath the Earth's surface, and extrusive, or volcanic rocks that cool quickly above the Earth's surface after a volcanic eruption. And the key to how an igneous rock forms is in the cooling process. When magma cools underground, it takes its sweet time and that cooling allows large crystals to form. This gives us intrusive rocks like granite, which have visible chunky crystals that you can see with your naked eye. On the other hand, if magma erupts to the surface as lava, it cools super fast, so fast that crystals barely have time to grow. And this gives us extrusive rocks like basalt, which tend to have much finer grains, and they may even be glassy, like obsidian. Now that we know how they form, let's take a closer look at some common igneous rocks you might come across. First is granite. This is a classic intrusive rock, with large crystals of minerals like quartz, feldspar, and micas. You've probably seen it in buildings or countertops because it's super durable and has that beautiful speckled look. Then there is basalt, a volcanic rock that forms from lava flows. It's usually dark and fine grained and makes up the ocean floor and many volcanic islands like Hawaii. Then there is obsidian. This is one of the coolest igneous rocks. It's volcanic glass. Formed from lava that cools so quickly, crystals don't even have a chance to form, giving it that smooth, glassy texture. And finally, pumice. Have you ever seen a rock that floats on water? It's probably pumice. It forms from frothy lava that traps the air bubbles inside, and it's so light it can float. So here are a few hot spots you might be able to find some of these igneous rocks at. Hawaii is a prime example of volcanic activity, creating extrusive igneous rocks like basalt. Iceland is another volcanic wonderland with a lot of basalt and obsidian. For granite, you don't have to look any further than places like the Sierra Nevada mountains in California. You really don't have to travel far though, igneous rocks are everywhere. Now aside from being cool to look at, igneous rocks are really important for a few reasons. They make up a large part of the Earth's crust. In fact, most of the ocean floor is made out of basalt. They tell us a lot about Earth's volcanic history and how our planets formed. And economically, igneous rocks are used for construction, like granite, and in industry. Pumice, for example, is used in everything from beauty products to cleaning supplies because of its abrasive texture. So let's quickly recap what we've learned today. Igneous rocks form from the cooling and solidification of magma or lava. They come in two types, intrusive, slow cooling, big crystals, and extrusive, fast cooling and small or no crystals. Some common igneous rocks include granite, basalt, obsidian, and pumice. So now that you know a little bit about igneous rocks, you should be able to recognize some of them next time you see one, whether it's a shiny piece of obsidian or a beautiful granite countertop. If you've enjoyed learning about fiery igneous rocks, make sure that you give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more quick geology lessons. See you in the next video.